Hello, hello, my beautiful, beautiful Leos. Happy birthday. I want to welcome each and every one of you, whether you are a new subscriber or a returning subscriber, a new viewer or an old viewer. I want to welcome each and every one of you to the Sun Cat Tarot channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me here today for your Leo August 2019 Love and Life reading. Now my old subscribers, they know the drill. You could always fast forward the intro. To the new viewers, I do have to say, okay, please, please, please take note that this is strictly a general reading. This is not a private reading and therefore things are not always going to be 100%, but that's okay. We have more than one sign in our personal natal chart. You could always check out your rising moon or Venus sign for further clarification. Thank you so much. And please, when you're coming to a reader, know that there could be good or bad things in the reading. Cards don't lie. Okay, so be prepared. Thank you so much. With all of that out of the way, let's get into our Leo August reading. Okay, Leo, my birthday cat. So I was kind of meditating on your whole whole aura, the whole reading, okay, for the next month, okay, first, happy birthday, another important thing is, this is a very important time for Leos, okay, we got the new moon, July 31st, it's a rare black moon, okay, and we got meteor showers and whatnot, black moon means that there is two new moons in one month and that usually happens every 29 months and guess what the new moon the black moon the rare moon is in your sign so it's a great time to manifest and to have your wishes come true meteor showers okay go out look in the star catch a falling star and wish for what you want manifest manifest and more manifesting for my leos it's also a good month because the Mercury retrograde has been over. There's still a few effects with the post-shadow period till August 15th, but things are getting easier for your birthday month, Leo. And by the way, okay, this is the most important new moon, not only of this year, but of the next couple years for you, because if it's only every 29 months that this black moon comes around, okay, and it's in your sign and there's 12 signs, imagine the next time the new moon, black moon in Leo. Okay, that's going to be like decades away. So, Big changes, big manifestations, okay, big transformations, okay, it's your new year. And then quickly, for some reason, and we got that out of the way, I do hear somebody's like jealous of you, okay, somebody's really jealous of you or maybe angry with you because you're in that element. Like, I was feeling like a whole Marilyn Monroe vibe for Leos. They're attractive, they're beautiful. They're looking good. They are on the up and up. And I'm feeling like that fire, passion, okay? Sexy AF energy. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I could talk forever. Let's get into your Leo reading. Let's see your overall energy for August 2019. This will be the energy that will be following you around. Okay, well, we got the Four of Pentacles falling out, but also I really did take notice here, the Three of Wands on the bottom of Leo's decks here. Okay, um, patience, strength, challenges. There's a lot of certain pressures that are building up and intensifying around this time, okay? Maybe this is literally like your new year, you know, Leo, so you're making goals, plans, and whatnot. But I do feel somebody here is holding on, holding on, holding on to the past. But also, this could be a positive card. Maybe Leos are finally, you know, saving coins, maybe getting birthday presents, saving money, okay? That's important, you know? That's very important. I do feel a more positive vibe, okay, for Leos 
towards the financial situation they're in, at least if not this month at the end of August, okay? But let's see. Let's see how this coincides with the rest of the reading. But I do feel like you're waiting on something, waiting on making a decision, waiting on some type of a move, waiting on something, okay? Let's see. Let's see overall messages for my Leos. That's too many cards. Overall message for my Leos in love. What do my Leos need to know? In love. And this will be love towards your friends, family members, even foes, okay? But also, this will be your and their energies combined because this is overall and their energies will affect you. So think of that one person, okay? Who you really want it to be about. And let's get started. Interesting. So I do see things are... Yeah, Leo, you're going to have a better month this month, okay? Leos have had a tough break lately. I know, but you're feeling it. Winning combinations in love, okay? Winning, 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 and more success, more victory. There's something that's going to really make you happy in your relationship in August. And wow, I'm loving it, okay? Not often do I get the readings that are positive. And I don't sugarcoat because I don't feel like it does anybody any good. But I do see like somebody like waking up and realizing, wow, okay, I want I want to, things to be better. But I mean, this could be the other person that really wants to make things better with you and they're waking up and realizing how great things are, okay? It's either you or them. And also with the Ace of Swords here, I do see a better communication, okay? You want to make or they want to make the communication with you better, a priority, okay? It's definitely somebody is going to make the move here. Either you're going to make the move towards them or they're going to make the move towards you, towards communication, towards um, ideas, sharing certain thoughts and ideas with you, maybe sharing secrets. This person um, is really going to make you happy or you will really make somebody happy in August. And that's a very beautiful energy. But I am like hearing like somebody's like opening their eyes and realizing things, you know, realizing things about their love life and are saying, wow, um, I love this person. I'm going to come towards them. I'm going to be the knight or, you know, whoever in shining armor, winning combination, okay? And pe because this person knows, okay, or you might know this about the person, that they are admired, they're gorgeous, you love them, they love you. Wow, I love it, yay! That's what's up, Leo, I love it, love it, love it, love it. So, um, ooh, Ace of Pentacles just fell out for Leo's. Ace of Pentacles. So definitely somebody's making a move towards you. Oh my goodness. And somebody really, or you might be moving towards somebody, but somebody is going to be offering you a gift, okay? And I know that's kind of basic. Leo's do have a birthday, but you're going to really enjoy it. New opportunities are opening up. I don't know, for some reason with these two combinations, maybe somebody's finally moving somewhere, a place that they want to live. Maybe they're moving to a new house, a new apartment, and it's going to be like, wow, it's everything I wanted, at least in this moment, okay? Doors are opening up. Oh my god, I'm so giddy for you guys. I love this because there's not many times where I get such a good, nice reading. So let's see your feelings towards this person, okay? Let's see your feelings towards the person. You are connecting your emotions, not just feelings, but your emotions, your thoughts, your possible actions, vibes. Ooh, oh, sorry, give me one second. A card fell on the floor, but it was the two of cups. Yes, two of cups. Oh my gosh, yes, love, 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 love finally coming to an agreement, okay? And this could be even, okay, this really could be just towards like a c c love connection with a family. I do sense reunification with somebody, okay? Somebody in your life that you might have been on the outs with or had kind of a rocky thing. Um, yeah, you're not letting go. You're not letting go. 
um, agreements in all areas of life. So you're finally going to come to a compromise. And this is soulmate energy, or at least somebody that's really supposed to be there at this time. Okay, so you you love this person. Yay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, getting ahead of myself. Let's see. Love agreements, but yet there is the Ten of Swords. And I could feel like you love this person even after everything they've done, you know? Or you feel like there was some sneakiness, some backstabbing, but you can't let go. And I feel like, Leo, I know. I know, I know your relationship wasn't perfect, but I'm seeing it look up, okay? I do feel a happier energy. I didn't really expect this, but I obviously do expect it because nobody's relationship is perfect. But there is a coming to an agreement. This is still somebody you deeply care about, whether you want to admit it or not. And listen, I am going just with a general collective reading for Leo. There is 650 million Leos out there. The possibilities are endless. So work with me. Don't work against me. If you see something in these cards that I am not picking up on, that's your subconscious telling you a message you need to hear. Okay? Okay, thanks for that. But so far I'm seeing that even after everything, even after this person was sneaky and collected all these swords to stab you in the back with, right? Look at this guy's collecting swords. And it's like those swords were the ones that he was collecting to stab. So collecting little things to stab you in the back with. But for some reason, I'm not seeing you let go. I still see you love this person. I still see some Leos wanting to work out. Another thing I'm hearing, okay, if you don't want to work out, if you do feel deceived, if you do feel cheated, if you do feel like they did you dirty, um, another possible thing is even if you're not willing to let go of this person or let go of the past hurts or something, another thing that the Two of Cups could be representing is maybe somebody coming towards you, okay? But be careful, be careful, because even if this new person comes towards you, this other new person could be sneaky as well. Don't rush into anything. But those are kind of your feelings, possible actions. I do still see um, love. Okay? Shoot me. I don't care. I'm just the messenger. But I'm saying what I'm saying. And I said what I said. And I stand by my message. Now... For fun, strictly for fun, okay? This portion of the reading is for entertainment, okay? Let's see. I mean, the whole reading is for entertainment as well. I hope you could take something away from it. But remember, just like horoscopes, terascopes, anything like this is for entertainment. But this one, even more so. Let's see what possible sign Leos could be connecting with. What are the possible signs that my Leos are connecting with? Hmm... Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Maybe you're connecting with somebody that has Taurus in their chart. Either sun sign, rising sign, moon sign, or Venus sign. Or possibly this could be a message for anybody that has especially their moon in Taurus. Okay, for Leos that have moons in Taurus is especially prosperity lies ahead. But I do see somebody here connecting with a Taurus. Let's see, a couple more signs that you could possibly be connecting with, my dear Leah. Who are my birthday cats connecting with? Who are my beautiful, beautiful birthday cats connecting with? Okay, well, this one says adjustments are required. Okay, you could be connecting with a cancer. Okay, cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. Yes, no matter what, if you're connecting with a cancer or a Taurus, you can't let go, okay? I don't know if you want to say, oh, I hate this person. Nope, bye, thanks. This doesn't resonate. That's fine. That's not your message. It's not your message, but don't get mad because if you're getting mad towards anything I say, that's you being triggered because you need to hear something because you're going to resonate with things whether they're good and bad. And if you really feel something towards any part of this message, okay, for some reason, it's still resonating with you, but you could just be angry about it. But that's okay. Um, come after the cards. Come after the spirit, my dear Leo. Not me. But I do see something with the cancer here, okay? Um, and even if 
even if you don't resonate and you don't think that you want anything to do with this person and you want to let go, okay, um, you're still kind of probably thinking about this person and watching this video. So don't come at me in the comments. Listen, Leo's my birthday cats. I love you so much. That's only for the haters, okay? That message was just for the haters, haters. Um, let's see. Okay, and a possible Capricorn. There could be a connection with somebody that has sun or rising moon or venus capricorn okay thank you now let's see this question what are their feelings towards you what are their emotions towards you what are their vibes energies okay thoughts possible actions towards my leos what are their possible actions vibe thoughts and energies towards my leos the world the sun, the queen of cups. Mm, mm, mm. See, Leo, I feel like no matter what, you're not, they are not ready to let go of you either. They're hanging on tight, hanging on to hope, okay? Even if you're in separation, okay? They're hanging on to hope. They are still hanging on to the, even the last little bit of hair, a sliver of hope, okay? The world, the sun, and the queen of cups. Mm -hmm. You complete them. You complete them. The world, okay? Again, could be connecting with fixed energies such as Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio, okay? Or those could be their signs, okay? Um, in the risings, in the moon, in the Venus, and so forth. Again, maybe another Leo, fixed energies here. But the world also speaks of completion, right? So I said they feel like you complete them okay they feel like you make them like worth they want to see the world with you they want to experience the world with you no matter what they still love you they can't nothing will make them let go of you at least okay at least for this month leo okay at least for this month my birthday cats but um they have so much hope so much warmth so much love towards you passion raw fiery passion emotions queen of cups yeah i i knew it i knew there was love okay leo you might feel backstabbed you might feel cheated you might feel deceived okay in the past but even your card still speaks of you wanting to come together wanting to reunify wanting to forgive okay um but this person you're their world their sun and their moon and water and whatever else really 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 they really care about you they really love you they have so many emotions sometimes they hold them back because i feel like this person might not always want to reveal everything because they're like they have some pride they kind of do have some leo energy in them too you know what i mean so it's like they might not always admit it to you because like this cup is um the card of this cup is like closing a lid on emotions but no matter what hanging on to the last hope no matter how bad how crazy whatever happened here from the past leo this person loves you they're obsessed with you they need you they want you they have passion for you they love you i keep on seeing that especially with the world in the sun like all these three cards are super positive. And then on the bottom of the deck, I do notice the five of pentacles. And yes, this is more of a negative card. And I do feel like they do did feel like you guys have gone through so many hard times. But at least, again, together. There's always a negative card. This is more of a negative card, of course. But with all of these cards and everything combined, I see this as no matter what, they're willing to go through any blizzard, through any storm, to be next to you, okay, no matter what, I mean, these people look almost homeless, do you know what I mean, like, they don't care, you are their home, right, what is that quote, home is where the heart is, or the, right, whatever, I might have said it backwards, but that's what they feel about you, heart, home, everything, no matter what, they're with you, till death do you part, at least, even if you guys are apart, you're in their soul, in their heart, till death. Okay? Okay, thank you. Now, I do want to see a couple more things from a different deck. I'm not going to show you all the cards in this deck. Okay, because... 
seven of pentacles. Yeah, they're waiting. I feel like both of you are waiting on something, okay? I, I don't want to show all of the cards here because this is a risque deck, but it's like they're waiting until that right moment, okay, to come towards you, to communicate with you, uh, waiting, holding on hope. They, they're not losing hope, okay? They're not going to lose hope. So let's see what they want to tell you, but maybe are too shy or too embarrassed to tell you. What is the person that Leo's connecting with wants to tell Leo? Queen of Wands. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This person adores you. Adores you. Okay. Waiting on the right moment till things are okay. Queen of Wands. They want to take action, action, and more action towards you. And sometimes I feel like that card could also represent, like... You could see that woman either dressing up or dressing down, right? But it's like, I feel like sometimes they feel like maybe you ignore them in a way, okay? Or use them in a way. Or not even use them, but like they just feel like they want to be with you longer. They are yearning for you, for your touch, for your love, okay? Anything else they want to say? Woohoo! Okay. I'm reading this strictly by this card as well, not by the original uh, Rider Waite deck, but do they miss you? They want you all the way. <laughs> they want every single piece of you. Like, this person misses you like crazy. I feel like for some reason, maybe for some people, these people are apart, maybe in a separation, maybe. And if not in separation, maybe there's been a time here do you get what I'm saying? There might have been a little bit of a dry spell in your love life and they need you, they want you, they can't be without you. Wow, that's beautiful. Anything else? Any last words for Leo from their loved one? Please and thank you. Three of Wands. Again, Three of Wands. Remember I showed you that card at the beginning? They're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. They can't let go. They're waiting for the right time to make their move and swoop in and um, love you, carry you away, okay? There, but there is something that is here that both of you have to have patience. Maybe somebody, for some reason, maybe somebody is away in a different city trying to get their coins together, trying to save money, trying to work some, on something. They're, they're waiting on the right timing to come to you. They want to come to you um probably financially more stable or something like that if you are in separation or if not if you guys are together it's almost like they're waiting for somebody to make the first move okay but I feel I feel a lot of passion I'm telling you okay okay I feel like I'm almost getting like you know how we were talking about the new moon it's like I don't know why I'm getting it like you guys are apart in different cities like at least for the Leos that I'm connecting with and it doesn't have to be that way but it's like they miss you it's like when they look at the moon I'm getting like an image of the both of you looking at the moon at the same time or the stars or the sky at the same time and it's like where are you we're looking at the same moon at the same sky I hope I hope we were together soon. That's what I'm feeling. Wow, Leo, this is one of the best readings I've had in a very long time. Very long time. And then this is the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they're trying to work things out. They're trying to um, get their finances balanced, get their job balanced, get their life balanced to come towards you. So let me see. Any advice cards here? And this is advice from these cards, not from me personally. This is advice from Spirit and the cards. You don't have to take it and don't take it up with me if you don't like it. Okay. King of Pentacles advice. Yeah. Um, somebody is working on themselves and maybe it's time to work on yourself too and things will come to completion soon. Okay. But something strongly about the finances here. Something is strong about finances here. Somebody's trying to get their bank together, this four of pentacles, this king, okay, of pentacles, saving money, building things up, and when they do, they will come towards you. I do sense there's somebody coming towards you once their bank is up, but in August, I feel like it's a time to be yourself, to, to worry about yourself, but also... 
there is still a sense of patience there is still a sense of waiting there is still a sense of certain challenges strength okay just have gratitude towards things okay and, and try to see the beauty in everything and the possibilities that are emerging for you and the doors that are opening towards you soon okay because I do sense a little bit of like confusion and uncertainty about certain things that are happening for you I do feel like there's major changes with this new moon major changes but I'm telling you whatever you want please work with the full moon on July 31st if you're watching this video after July 31st no big deal because this energy will last till the next new moon so for the next about 28 days to a month you could still make wishes you could still work with this powerful energy now let me get the last few um, things out of the way here let me see maybe a message for you from spirit and then we'll be pretty much done what a spirit want to let leo know what a spirit want to let my cats know please and thank you intention oh my goodness did i not just say set your intention for the new moon this energy i'm telling you there will not be a black new moon in your sign in leo sign for a very long time so this is the time like i'm seeing make your heart's desires okay come true i am serious this is an important time if you miss the actual july 31st to august 1st night for doing some type of a ritual setting intentions i'm telling you there will be meteor showers i think till august 23rd try to catch a star and wish upon a star try to make something try to make your intentions known to god the universe spirit whatever you believe now it says do not lose sight of your original intention check inside your heart to see if the path you're traveling fits in with your original hopes and aspirations if not take action take control and steer your life back on course yes leo but i do feel like a positive message will come you will make decisions there will be decisions to be made towards the end of august maybe even into september and i feel like you will set your life in the right course. This is a very powerful time. I'm not kidding. I'm as serious as serious could be. Let's get a few fortune cookies and we'll be done. Okay, Leo, let's see what's going on here for you. A few words of wisdom here. And they're very simple, but they're very effective. You are going to be refreshingly level-headed and others will be able to relate to you. Yes, yes, yes. A bright new path awaits those willing to explore. I am saying moon, 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 work with the new moon for the next month. That will be very important. New doors, new opportunities, new year for you, Leo. And this is a very powerful year the next year from this august 2019 to august 2020 lots of changes whether where you're moving where you're living maybe even who you're with okay but i do feel like um it's going to be a powerful one okay share your good fortune with friends see to be able to share good fortune with friends means that you are going to have good fortune i do see some of your finances or something like that looking up this month okay and it says, you will be released from the burden of your past. Yes, remember that Four of Pentacles card where it was kind of like holding on to something, right? Well, you're going to hold on to only the good things, okay? Work with this new year for you. Thank you so much, Leo. If this resonated, please click the like button, click it again, share with your friends, comment down below, subscribe down below. Please be respectful to me as the reader and to anybody here and other commenters. Any disrespect or especially hate will be sent back to you. You don't want those energies, trust me. You know, um, don't be messing with any reader online, okay? You never know, okay? So you don't want those energies on you, karmic energies and so on, okay? No attacking anybody, please. I love you guys so much. And if this really did resonate, share this with another Leo. Maybe they could take something out of it as well. Love you so much. See you for your next reading. Happy birthday. Bye.